Hello everyone, this is Keith Ritual, and today I'm going to be doing my face again, but this is going to be a bit more of an extreme look. Probably the more extreme one I've done in a bit. Just because I'm going out to a new party, and I just want to go hard on it. So, I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you all at the end. Okay, first thing I'm doing is I'm going to be gluing my eyebrow down, just the right one. And I'm going to comb it up, and use my glue stick. It's an Elmer's Glue Purple Glue Stick. And I'm also going to be caking in some extra to really smooth it out. This I'm mainly doing because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do next, but this also will help protect the eyebrow from any latex or wax stuck in it. So it's not that much of a pain in the ass to get it out later. I'm also going to powder it to really flatten it out and dry it out. And now I'm taking the colors by Makeup Forever, Coral and Red, and mixing them together. And I'm going to put it over my eyebrow. Hopefully this is something that's a little bit stronger than just peach a uh, coral by itself to help cancel out the eyebrow color. Although later on this step became useless either way. And I'm gonna add a little bit more glue to just even it out a bit more. I'm going to wait for that to dry for a minute. Now I'm taking a part of this cord, which is what I used to do is, you know, when we were kids, we used to make these like uh, Chinese staircases or cross boxes, and I used one of those cords that I used to use as a kid, and I cut it and knotted it a bit. I tried to figure out how I was going to put it on my face, so I used a little bit of prosade. I just started playing with different ideas of shapes and trying to get it glued on since it is quite a heavy wire. Once I found the shape, I took a little bit of scar wax from Ben Nye, scar nose and scar wax, and I just started creating dimension on it. This would be a bit easier if you do it off the face first, but I wasn't thinking that much, but it also helped create more dimension and distortion. And I just start putting it over the entire length of the wire. And I use a little bit of makeup remover on my fingertips to help smooth it out and helping it prevent it from sticking to my fingers. And now I'm almost done with this and I'm going to make sure everything is nice and smooth and the shape I want and thick enough so that the wire is not as visible. Now I'm going to take some latex and I'm going to have some half dried latex. I'm just going to stipple it over the entirety of the thing as well as stippling it out just to create a texture. And after it's dried a little bit more, I'm going to put a little bit extra just to give it a deeper texture. I'm just going to cake that on to give it sort of the disease look I'm going for. Now I'm going to use Hourglass Veil Primer to prime my face. Because I'll be using blue and I really do need a strong primer. Otherwise I will dye my skin blue for a day. And now I'm just taking Sugar Pill Diamond Eyes over my eyes and a little bit of Set in Stars and using that for my crease, just blending that in under my eye as well. And then I'm taking Urban Decay's Perversion and just putting on my eyeliner and on my waterline as well. And I'm going to bring the, my left wing all the way up just for no reason other than I felt like it. And now I'm going to take Ben Nye Cosmic Blue and I'm going to use that as my foundation and just blend it all over. Since this is part of my demon looks, my skin's usually blue. And I'm going to keep a little bit of a distance between the blue and my prosthetic because the prosthetic won't be blue.
I'm gonna get that in my ear and just make sure it's nice and even. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Maron white body paint and stipple it over the entire piece of the prosthetic and going and blending it into the blue. And I'm gonna go over it with this little brush and try to get into all the little crevices just so that if any lift up happens, not as much skin is visible. Now I'm going to take my stipple brush and just blend out the edges just to give it more of a erosion look and I'm also going to mix it in with a little bit of a marron black to give it more of a fungal look and I'm going to blend this out until I feel like I've got the desired just depth and now I'm going to take organic wear loose powder and I'm going to sort of use it as my highlights again I'm doing these a bit out of order but I make it work I'm going to blend that in and just use that as a setting powder as well, but not as much in the other areas. And now I'm going to take some Sugar Pill Bulletproof and create my contours. And just make sure that's nice and even. A little bit more black and white stippling. Now I'm taking my Precious Metals palette and I was using gold at first but decided I didn't like the color so I changed up to Dark Vein which is from the Eva Farron palette uh, from Temp 2. I'm just creating a nice like veiny look, sort of like a crack and I'm using the brush I used for the loose powder over it just because there's a lot of blue in it and it helps fade it into the makeup. And I'm going to use a lip scrub to scrub my lips and I'm going to use my perversion liner to line my lips and sort of contour my lips at the same time just really get that shape now I'm taking LA Splash's color of Vindictive which is like a nice grayish tone and just covering my lips in it And I'm using, I'm going back into cleaning up any details I noticed I missed. Now I'm using my Sugar Baby palette, the color blue, and I'm going to change the white into a bluish tone just because it didn't, they look too white. I'm gonna put a little bit down my nose for no reason. A bit more touching up on the prosthetic piece. And then I'm going to fix up my liner. Now I'm taking Lit Cosmetics Glitter in the color Marilyn Monroe. And I'm using these to create sort of like a teary look the best I can without it being too unnoticeable. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my lips and down my center of my chin. Use some Dior Show Mascara. Clean up any blue issues and restyle my hair, and there we are, and I'm done. Almost. Now I'm done. And there you have it. I'm sh pretty much done. Um, I might do a little bit extending here, but that's about it. I'm gonna go get dressed. I hope you all enjoy this. Uh, this is, of course, I don't think I've ever told you about this. I have a demon thing I've been doing since years ago, and I'm gonna put make a playlist of this. Um, these are creatures I see in my head and I never really recreate, but this one is the disease demon. Um, I have a lot more and they're mostly blue skinned. Some are black, some are blue. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and have a good day. Bye!